Lewis Hamilton will start the Saudi Arabian Grand Prix on pole in a Mercedes front row lockout along with teammate Valtteri Bottas after Max Verstappen on his final flying lap in Q3 ended up putting his Red Bull into the wall of the Saudi Arabian street circuit. I'm Ollie Wilson for GP fans. That's the main headline coming out of Saturday's qualifying session. Of course, you should stick with us throughout this weekend and the rest of this F1 season and into next season as well by hitting the subscribe button down below to stay up to date with everything we do here at the channel. But now let's get into more of the breakdown and the fallout from what happened on Saturday's session from Saudi Arabia. The Saudi Arabian street circuit was always going to improve over time throughout Saturday's qualifying with the continued rubbering up of the track which would allow the late runners in the session the best chance to profit from any added grip and pace. It led to some unlikely leaderboards at times with Carlos Sainz really pushing the limit in Q1. He was ahead in the middle of the first session of qualifying but it was Sergio Perez who showed that his Friday woes were perhaps over in Q1 leading the pack with a 128.021, 0.03 seconds ahead of Valtteri Bottas with Daniel Ricciardo, Sainz and Max Verstappen making up the top five in the first part of Saturday's qualifying. The Hasses of Nikita Mazepin and Mick Schumacher were joined by the Aston Martins of Lance Stroll and Sebastian Vettel and the Williams of Nicholas Latifi in failing to make it into Q2. Quite the surprise in particular for Vettel and that Aston Martin team. There was a little more carnage coming with some surprising dropouts in Q2. Hamilton topping the times with a 127.712, but the two Red Bulls of Sergio Perez and Max Verstappen under three tenths of a second behind him made up the second and third spots, with Valtteri Bottas making Q3 for the 100th time in his 100th race start for Mercedes, finishing off the top four. Sainz came a cropper, much like his teammate Charles Leclerc had done at the end of FP2 on Friday, losing his car's control and sliding across the asphalt sideways, clipping the barriers with his rear wing. The quick repair job needed to the rear of the car and one lap attempt to try and get himself into the top 10, not enough, as the Spaniard ruined his final flying lap and went out in Q2. Also out were Danny Ricciardo in his McLaren, Kimi Raikkonen in the Alfa Romeo, Fernando Alonso in the Alpine and George Russell, 14th in the Williams ahead of Sainz. Q3 saw the early goers struggling for pace, with Bottas almost half a second off Hamilton's Q2 time with a 128.1, while Max Verstappen on his opening run of Q3 after delaying his first run behind the two Mercedes set the tone with a 127.653, three tenths of a second faster than the two Mercedes on their opening runs of Q3. Understeer was an apparent problem for Hamilton and adjustments were made and his next run with two minutes to go in the session on some scrub softs was fast. Faster than Max's, probably the fastest of the day. A 1 minute 27.511 was the marker set down to Verstappen who had fresh softs on for his final run of the session. But the Dutchman was flying purple sectors in one and two through the ultra fast street circuit, but turn 27 of 27 brought disaster. A lockup into the sharp final bend sent the Red Bull driver offline, wheel spinning out of the corner, his car caught the wall, potentially ruining both his wishbone suspension at the back of the car and a new gearbox inside that Red Bull. The top 10 finished with Hamilton and Bottas on the front row, Verstappen and the Ferrari of Charles Leclerc on row two, third and fourth, Sergio Perez and Pierre Gasly, fifth and sixth. Lando Norris and Yuki Tsunoda are after them, with Esteban Ocon and Antonio Giovinazzi making up the final top 10 in an incredible Saturday performance for the soon-to-be Formula E man in the Alfa Romeo. Max Verstappen called his Saturday qualifying session terrible after his mistake on the final corner of his flying lap that looked destined to give him pole position in Saudi Arabia saw him end up in the wall and potentially damage his whole race weekend if a gearbox change and subsequent grid penalty is needed. The Dutchman was more than matching the pace of pole sitter Lewis Hamilton before his incident in the wall that could have huge ramifications now for the title battle. And considering how much extra emphasis was needed on taking pole at a track that looks very difficult to overtake on, the championship leader was a frustrated fellow after his qualifying session. Of course it's terrible, but it was in general a good qualifying, mused Verstappen. It was a bit hard to switch on the tyres here around a street circuit, but I knew the pace was there and it showed in the last lap. I don't really understand what happened, but I locked up and I still tried to keep the car on track to finish the lap, but I clipped the rear and I had to stop. 
but P3 is a bit disappointing today knowing what lap I was on. Nevertheless, it shows the car is quick and let's see what we can do in the race. Lewis Hamilton will start the race on pole position with his teammate Valtteri Bottas helping to lock out the front row for Mercedes. Wow, what a tough track this is. Incredibly technical and complex, said Hamilton. It is amazing what they have built here, track-wise. The speed around here is phenomenal. We looked quick through practice, but for some reason, P3 and particularly qualifying, we lacked in pace, struggling with the tyres. So for us to get a 1-2, I'm really proud of Valtteri and the men and women in our team who have been working so hard. This is a great result. That Red Bull around this track is something else. Given where we are, I am grateful for what we have managed. We always get closer in race pace. They have obviously fixed something with the setup from yesterday and were rapid today. I anticipate it will be a close battle, but Valtteri and I will be on it. So Lewis is sure that he and Valtteri Bottas can hold off Max Verstappen in Sunday's race in Saudi Arabia, but what do you think will happen on Sunday afternoon? Let us know in the comments section below, and of course, hit that subscribe button to stay up to date with all of our coverage of the Saudi Arabian Grand Prix this weekend here on the channel at GP Fans.